Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel. Certainly appreciate you all taking time out of your day to pay me a visit. And speaking of appreciation, that's the theme of the video today. Uh, I just hit 225 subscribers over the weekend. I uh, really wanted to uh, thank each and every one of you, uh, not only the subscribers, but also the viewers. Um, you guys uh, really motivate me to keep uh, pushing this channel forward. When I started it a year and a half, uh, this kind of did it, uh, honestly, I did it for a lot of different reasons, but the thing that's kept me, like, motivated to keep going is going into the YouTube studio and seeing how many people are actually watching these videos and the different demographics and, uh, watching that subscriber count, uh, climb up. Um, and, uh, I wanted to take some time to, uh, kind of show that appreciation, um, and uh, I kind of thought uh, of uh, how I was going to approach that. Um, you know, it kind of dawned on me once I hit 200 subscribers. I, I did kind of want to do something and was debating whether I wanted to do it at 200 or 250. And I decided let's split the difference. Let's just do 225. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a giveaway for my subscribers. And uh, what I've done is thrown together a 3600 box of some of my custom painted lures that I've uh, accumulated these last few months. And uh, I talked to my buddy uh, who has his own YouTube channel and got some advice from him. And uh, really, I think I'm just gonna keep the rules for the giveaway really simple. Uh, be a subscriber and uh, leave a comment on this video. Um, and what I would like to do, uh, to, to be eligible, again, just leave a comment. It could just be a single letter. I don't care. I don't want to make it difficult for you all. But uh, I would like you guys to help me out. Uh, I, want to, I want you to help me to help you. <laughs> um, every time I watch some of my old content, um, I just realize how inconsistent I am in a lot of my videos and a lot of my format. Really, the only consistent thing is some kind of a screenshot of my Navionics app. Uh, with stars on uh, the locations I uh, catch fish on. Um, I want to uh, kind of build on that and uh, have a more standard uh, standard approach for these videos. Um, so kind of what my game plan is, uh, including every single video going forward uh, where I'm fishing, I'm going to be uh, listening to my boat ramp, uh, what the water temp was beginning and end, uh, I'm going to try to do the air temp beginning and end. And then if there's like a water gauge, uh, like on the Fox River or any of the other waterways that I go to, try to include the water gauge uh, information. Uh, if there's anything uh, that you guys would like to see is part of that standardization. If you guys are big on moon phases, I kind of was considering moon phases, but I'm a believer in moon phases, but I don't think it uh, has that big of an impact um on that but maybe i'm forgetting something else that you guys might find useful so if you can leave me a comment like hey include these in your videos i will uh, certainly consider it um one of the other things that i wanted to touch on uh some of my videos for that navy on screenshot has had like different overlays so uh the Navionics app uh, within my iPad mini that I use has no overlay. I'll show you guys what no overlay looks like. It's also got satellite view. This is what satellite looks like. And then there's a terrain setting. I personally prefer the terrain setting. I think that's easiest to kind of view uh, where the location's at and like what other points of reference are. But uh, if you guys can let me know which one of those you guys prefer, um, I'll start trying to standardize that as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah, really any other requests that you guys have, drop me a comment. I do my best to, uh, reply to comments as quickly as possible. Um, but that all said, again, uh, we're going to run this giveaway. I, I had a slip of the tongue while uh, recording this giveaway dates are from the date that I published this on August 10th. Uh, until the end of August, uh, August 31st. So be a subscriber, 
leave any sort of comment uh, on this video, and I will uh, randomly draw somebody at the end of the month and uh, make a separate video announcing the winner. Posting this video on August 10th, and uh, that's a Tuesday, and we're going to run to the end of August, uh, which is a Tuesday. So I think that's like either three or four weeks for everyone to, uh, to leave a comment and uh, be a subscriber. So... Um, I guess let me show you what the 3600 box uh, is uh, going to include. Um, so, uh, we'll start with the obvious. I'm going to be including two of my standard Rusty Crayfish 1.5 square bills. These are the guys that I use 90% of the time when I'm fishing the Fox River. My new favorite, I'm going to be including two of my Orange Crush colors. Uh, square bill 1.5s as well. Um, Whopper Plopper 75s. Uh, I love these things. I haven't had as much luck as I thought I would have on these Whopper Plopper 75s, but I really do think that these are the absolute best size Whopper Ploppers. Um, if you watch any of the ND Yak Angler videos, he absolutely crushes the smallmouth on these. So we got a Whopper Plopper 75 and just kind of like a generic shad pattern. Uh, we've got a, uh, a popper. Uh, I think this is like a three and a half inch popper in a fire tiger pattern. Um, one of my favorite baits as well. Um, I don't really throw these all that much anymore, but you can't beat these uh, when it comes to pond fishing. Great, great lure. Um, Staying on the theme of top water, I got myself a, a Zara Spook, uh, just a standard Zara Spook. Uh, actually, this has got a rattle, so I get I think it's technically a Super Spook, but uh, kind of got like a bronze shad color to it. This is the one that I was catching smallmouth on, on the Carpentersville stretch, uh, two or three, maybe four videos ago. So definitely going to include one of those. And a few other kind of wild cards. So we've got two suspending jerk baits, one in a sexy uh, shad color, and then the other one uh, just kind of like in a plum plum shad color. Um, really like these uh, jerk baits as well. I think they're fantastic. Uh, to round things out, I'm going to throw in some uh, 2.5 square bills. I don't throw 2.5 square bills all that much, but... Uh, when I go up to Canada or waters that I just know have bigger fish, I definitely throw the 2.5s. And uh, we got my green sunfish pattern. And then uh, we've got a UV blaze. Um, so this is more of a compact 2.5, and this is just a little bit, I would almost call this a 3.0, but it is technically a, a 2.5. So a lucky subscriber is going to win this and um again so just to reiterate uh just be a subscriber and don't uh <laughs> don't take this as uh me going forward in my videos being one of those guys saying hey make sure you smash that like and hit that subscribe button i'm not going to do that uh this really is just again to um show my appreciation for you subscribers up until this point uh, obviously, if you're, you subscribe this month of August, you're still eligible. All you got to do is be a subscriber, leave some kind of comment on this video, and I'll do a random drawing at the end of the month. And uh, we'll mail you off this 3600 box of bait. Um, so that's, uh, that's kind of the theme. I did want to also uh, just kind of give you guys a quick game plan you know we're just about at the end of what i consider the end of summer you know it's the first week second week of october man time is flying by um september i'll be uh going up to long lake in washburn county uh, uh yeah washburn county in wisconsin that might be helpful uh, i'm gonna be spending the week up there absolutely love that lake uh great smallmouth great small uh, yeah, great smallmouth and great largemouth uh, fishing. Definitely going to be uh, using a lot of Zara Spooks that uh, time of the year and that lake. Zara Spooks are fantastic. Can't wait to bring you guys that. 
And the thing that I am most, most excited about, I cannot wait. I'm going back to Canada. Uh, you know, I was hoping and had my fingers crossed so much this year that the border was going to open and I was going to be able to get up to Canada. Honestly, uh, start of July, I had written off Canada. I didn't think I was going to be able to get back up there. But uh, the border just opened, I, I think, yesterday. Um, so if everything stays uh, the way that it is, and I know that uh, COVID's been spiking, so still a chance that things might change, but at this point, I'm going to be going up to uh, Pigeon Lake on the Quartha Chain of Lakes uh, sometime in October, either late September, early October. We haven't quite finalized the dates yet, but so stoked. So stoked to be able to get back up there, do some musky fishing, do some more smallmouth and largemouth fishing up there. Um, super excited. So those are the two next major trips that I have planned. We'll have plenty of other uh, Fox River videos coming up too. Um, I might pull out my kayak as well. I've, I have like just kind of like a generic kayak that I've kind of built up. Uh, it's one of those like really cheap kayaks that you can spend maybe about three hours in it before you get super uncomfortable. But I might pull that out and hit uh some local areas so we'll uh we'll see what happens um anyway thanks everyone uh for sticking with me this whole time and uh i really again truly appreciate you all uh being a viewer being a subscriber 